Hi guys, VST here, Vena Speaks Tech. Hello YouTube, hello my friends of YouTube, my brothers and sisters. I still have the Pixel 3 XL and I did shoot a lot of nice videos with this device. If you wanna see if the Pixel 3 XL is still worn in 2020, just click on the right side, go on the right side there. And if you want to see a epic battle comparison between the original Google stock camera versus the modded camera PX from Seastark, also check this video on the right side. But guys, I have some bad news, right? I need to return this pixel in two hours because this pixel does not belong to me. Oops, sorry, I hope it didn't break it. So this device does not belong to me and I need to return it as I said, but we will not go down like this. We will do another epic thing before I return it. And just before I return it today, guys, I learned that there is a new release of the Google camera. It's a Google camera 7.3 and I have already downloaded a mod from Seastark. I want to install it, see what the new things are, do two, three pictures and then I can go and send this pixel back with Grace. All right, so let's go to file, guys. Here you see Gcam 7.3. All right, so this is going to run now only on the pixel device. Don't try this at home if you don't own the pixel, guys. Your phone and personal data may be more vulnerable, we don't really care, press continue. Install the update to the existing built-in application, <laughs> because guys, this should go over the stock camera, I guess, so let's press install here. Oh, up camera installed, okay, so let's see what happens now. I have the camera picks here, which is still based on Gcam 7.2, and we have here, hopefully, wow, the latest camera. I need to check the version of the app, go to app info go to advanced and boom here it is Google camera 7.3 so let's directly see what are the new things so guys let's see what are the new settings into the Google camera 7.3 and have in mind I have just installed the version but I have cleaned the cache and the storage because that's the right way to do when you're testing you know these versions so let's go back inside all right and let's go here Oh, okay, so, so you see that the flash now is up. I think it wasn't like this in the 7.2, but let's go to options. Okay, we don't care about this. Let's go to settings, safe location, camera sounds pretty much the same. Then we have Google Lens suggestions, the framing hints, safe selfies previewed, social share, gestures, grid type, boom. Let's hear something new, guys. I see this for the first time. It's called do not disturb access needed. To post notification while taking videos, turn on do not disturb access in settings. That's quite nice. Okay, let's do this. So we need to allow this for the camera. Okay, this setting, guys, is used to post notification when you take videos, which is a very nice feature because it happens to me all the time. Even when I'm shooting videos, somebody's calling on my phone and I'm getting crazy. All right, let's go to advanced. Pretty much we have the same stuff like here. And it happens. I told you guys, it happens all the time. Asia control, raw JPEG control, store videos efficiently, okay, quite good. Then we have ultra high resolution video 4K, okay. Let's just take some pics, guys, so that we know that the camera works, okay. Let's do it like this. Okay, one pic like this, one like this. Uh, let's, let's stop the motion and let's go to HDR+. Plus. All right, wow, doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look so bad at all, guys. Okay, good. People got some hints on the new features. I checked it on HDA when they checked the settings XML. They discovered that potentially there's gonna be a 24 FPS recording mode for 4K and also the code names of the new Pixel devices to hit the market. But besides these guys, I don't see many new things. Right now, the only change that is very visible into the user interface is this DND option that allows the user to kind of like snooze the notifications while shooting video. Besides that, it's pretty much still the old camera, but anyway, it's a new version, guys. It is the last thing I'm doing on this Pixel. I'm going to be sending this Pixel back home. I wanna thank the guy that gave this Pixel for two days to me so I can do some videos. I have two more videos, guys, upcoming for the Pixel. It's the Pixel versus the OnePlus 7 in terms of user interface or like an OS comparison and then another like the crown epic video where I am putting the Pixel 3 XL to the battle with the OnePlus 7 Pro stock camera versus Pixel stock camera and then Pixel stock camera versus the OnePlus 7 Google camera mod by Ernix. With that said guys, we need to say goodbye to the Pixel and hopefully we're gonna get another device like this soon. I wanna thank you for watching this video until the end guys and I'm not going to tell you to subscribe and like the channel. Bye guys!